Good morning. Welcome to my office and to a little commentary over coffee. We've all sort of become adjusted to the new normal um, in some ways, and I want to just reflect on how these experiences have, have affected us. Today especially, I want to deal with what has become one of the most common responses and experiences in light of our shelter-in-place orders really worldwide over the last five weeks is the people of our world have experienced an increased sense of loneliness. That's true whether you live alone, whether you live with a spouse, or whether uh, you even have your entire family with you. To some extent, we have all experienced this sense of loneliness. I just want to briefly consider two issues with you. Why is that? And how can we address it? How can we deal with it? Why do we experience loneliness? Well, it stems back ultimately to the fact that we were made in the image of God. Genesis 1.26 says, let us make man in our own image. Part of what that means is that like God, we exist for and we're made for relationships. God in the Trinity of his person has always enjoyed relationship, eternally perfect relationship. And part of what it means for us to be made in His image is that we too were made for relationship. We were made for relationship with God. You remember even in the original creation, God walked with Adam and Eve in the garden, the cool of the day. We were made for that. We long for that. If, if you fast forward to the, to the future, the new heavens and the new earth, Revelation 21 verse 3 says that God's dwelling will be among men. And he will be with us, among us, the text says. It's like Augustine, the early church father said, you, God, made us for yourself, and our hearts are restless until they find their rest in you. We were made for relationship with God. We were also made for relationship with each other. In Genesis 2, verse 18, God said it's not good for man to be alone, but I will make a helper suitable or compatible to him. God recognized that that aloneness is not healthy for us who've been made in God's image, made for relationship. We've been made to enjoy marriage unless you have the gift of singleness. For many, marriage is part of God's answer to that. Now, family, we all have families, and family also is part of God's way to address that sense of loneliness or aloneness not being healthy for us. We have friends. I mean, in a sense, even friendship is patterned on God. God doesn't need anything outside of himself. Um, he enjoys that relationship within the Trinity, but he's chosen to make those whom he saved, those whom he's justified, his friends. In James 2, James talks about Abraham being called by God, the friend of God. Jesus said to us in John 14, you are my friends. In so doing, God has established the model of friendship. Unlike God, who doesn't need anything outside of his own person, we need friendship. We need that connection, that relationship within the context of the church. We are a family, and we are to interact with each other as a family. We love each other. We serve each other. And um, we're not even to forsake that corporate gathering of worship. That's part of what we're feeling even during these days. So it comes down to this. We weren't created to be islands. The sense of loneliness that we've all experienced at times these last few weeks is, in fact, a simple reality, a great reminder that we were made for relationship, made for relationship with God and with others. So that raises the second question briefly. How, how do we deal with our loneliness? Well, in our relationship with God, it starts by making sure you have a relationship with God. In fact, this is what it means to be a believer. This is what it means to be saved. This is what it means to have eternal life. In John 17, 3, Jesus said that, that we enjoy eternal life, which is to know God and His Son. So make sure that that's true, that you've repented and believed in His Son. If you are a believer, make sure you keep a pattern of the confession of your sins so you enjoy uninterrupted 
communion with Him. Our sins can, can disrupt that communion. Just as we saw with Jesus on the cross, right? When He was bearing our sins, He said, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? There was a sense of abandonment, a sense of loneliness from God because He bore our sins. The same thing happens when we have not confessed our own sin as John 1 9, 1 John 1 9 tells us to. Remind yourself of the promises that God has made never to leave you. Preach to yourself. Psalm 23, 4, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the darkest valleys of this life, I fear no evil for you are with me. Preach that truth to yourself. Don't wait for it to occur to you. Talk to yourself with the truth of Scripture. John 14, 18, Jesus said, I will not leave you as orphans. I will come to you, meaning in the person of His Spirit. Our Lord is with us. And Hebrews 13, 5 says, He Himself has said, I will never desert you, nor will I ever forsake you. And so pursue that relationship with the Lord. Every day, in His Word, let Him talk to you through His Word, and you talk to Him in prayer. Develop that relationship. What about your relationship with others? How do you battle loneliness there? Well, intentionally pursue those relationships. Use the technology that we have available to us to be as connected as possible during these times. Don't wait for others. You pursue the initiative. You take the initiative and make that connection. Remind yourself, however, that even as you do that, that some sense of loneliness is going to happen as long as you are not physically with those you love. Even when you're absent physically from those you love, it's not the same. That's why I love what Paul says in Romans 1 where he says, I'm writing you a letter and that's better than no communication, but I long to be with you so that we can be encouraged together face to face. We need that and that's what we're missing. And we need to pursue that as we're able now with technology, but it reminds us of how important that is once we're able again. It's also true absent from Christ. Remind yourself it's not going to be the same. It's wonderful, but it's not going to be the same as when you're with Him. John 17, 24, Jesus Himself prayed, Father, I want my disciples to be with me where I am. That's when we will enjoy the fullness of our relationship with Jesus Christ. Remind yourself of that. Of course there is a sense of separateness and aloneness because we're not with Him as we one day will be. And then encourage yourself that in eternity we will never experience loneliness. I love what Paul says in 1 Thessalonians 4.17 talking about the rapture. He says, when we who are alive and remain we will be caught up together with them, that is, with believers who's gone, who've gone before us. We're going to be united forever with other believers. And, he says, and so we shall ever be with the Lord. So remind yourself that loneliness is just a part of this life. Someday, you will never experience loneliness again. That's how we deal with it during these days. Have a great day.